Hey folks, Mac T here and uh, got the family here to help and uh, we're just going to do some random work on Herbie because we are waiting for parts but hey, while we're doing it, we do clean up. So, we got old Mom Osha here doing her thing. Say hi Mom Osha. Hello. She's uh, doing the housekeeping here because uh, <laughs> The wrenches are a little above and beyond what she wants to do. And then we got Mercy Girl right here. Say hi, Mercy Girl. Hey, you ready to work on Herbie? Yeah. All right. You ready to crawl under and release the drive shaft? Not really. Not really? Yeah. I'll show you everything you know. Right? I just, I don't hope I get the same thing like you. Oh, come on. It was one time. Why? I don't want to cut my eye. Okay. Well, we got safety glasses for you. So don't worry about it. But anyway, folks, uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to call this video just random things because we have a lot of random things that we want to finish up before we start putting Herbie together. So the family's here to help hopefully make it a little bit faster. And uh, we have CB here. And what's your job here, CB? Oh, you, you got to clean all the dirt off of the back end of Herbie, huh? You going to make it all spick and span? Yeah. All clean? Yeah. Is, there, is there a lot of dirt? There's a lot. There's a spider web back here on the tire one. Are you scared of spiders? Uh, not really. What if it's like a foot wide spider? Would you be scared? Uh, probably. Okay. Well, if you find a one foot diameter spider in here, you let us know because we'll all run, but we'll trip you before we run out, right? Is that how we save ourselves? <laughs> uh oh. What are you doing under there? You gonna do some damage? Yeah. All right. We don't want to damage Herbie. No, we're gonna damage the rust. We're gonna damage rust. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. But let's crawl under there and get that uh, drive shaft out because you're gonna do what to it? Get rid of the rust? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to get rid of rust. So let's go ahead and crawl under there and uh, remove the last two bolts that are holding the drive shaft in and then yank that thing out of here and uh, see what we got to do. Do you see the bolt that I'm going to do? Yes. You see the bolt that I'm doing? Yeah. There's one. It's just a nut. You got the other one? Uh, uh -huh. No, you don't. Look, it didn't even fall. I said, watch it. It's falling. I say, you be careful. We won't have this side of it. All right, we uh, just undid the uh, 15 uh, millimeter nuts. There's two of them. And then they got a, uh, it's like a cushioned washer right here that uh, they have on there. And uh, that goes in metal side up. And then this rustier side, you can pretty much see what it is. But yeah, that just holds the carrier. Uh, and it just slides right on out. But overall... I'm going to say old Herbie is uh, predominantly rust free under here. Everything looks in really good shape. So most of our rust is after the gas tank. You can see there, it's up in that area. That's where most of the rear end rust is and we're mitigating that. So uh, our job here for rust mitigation is pretty much done. Uh, we just got to go ahead and start working on it and uh, get it taken care of. Shut up. Ooh, careful. that That's feel it. as bad as it. Do we have any lateral movement? Here, you hold it and I'll hold it and you try to move it. That ain't much movement. No, not bad. It spin good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of corrosion around it, but so far so good. And this oh, joint, yeah, how's that? It, it, it's solid. 
I'm going to say we can, I don't see, get, get the light. Uh, the see what light the rubber looks like. See what the rubber looks like, because if that's no good, then we're we're out well, of the game. Look at that. Okay. Good day. Oh, base there. You need to see, see the cracking. Uh, it's going, isn't it? I mean, just starting, but I don't know how long. How long will it last? Is the question. Yeah. That looks so good here. But here, show this up here up close, Mercedes. Right there where that is starting to tear. But this ain't that hard of a job to replace and all that. Oh, hi. Huh. So I think we can just clean her up and go with her. And if she goes, we can get another one later. Just get rid of some of the rust on it. Look at the part number on it. This one. Video the part number there. I hold the human being. There's a number over here too, left side. Left side. No, no, you're called, yeah. Go with the old one or? We clean this one up. How about we see what a new one would run? Okay. It is. This is solid too. It doesn't feel bad. Mm. That has to give a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's designed that way, but it, it feels solid. So, in this joint here. Are those greasable? No. Nope. No. That's the thing, they made this so that you can't replace it. Huh. See how they peened it in there? Serious? Yep. No ring? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's press, press fit in and that's it. Then they peen it. Even this little shaft, look at the weights they attach to it to balance it. Yep. Even that little, what is it, two foot? Mm-hmm. Some more here. So, we can send her outside to wire brush it, if nothing else. Or look up the cost on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe avoid doing that. Well, do this. That's dry. That is dry. And yeah, don't move it, does it? Of course, nice. it's been sitting for a long time. It's not failed yet, but it's out of grease or something. Yeah, there's no way to grease them. That should be flopping all over the place. 2011 Ford Edge two-piece drive axle motor craft. Wow. Yeah, that's not good. Alrighty. Two-piece drive shaft. Uh, right now we're not, they're sort of up in the air on this drive shaft. Uh, this rear end uh, universal joint is very hard and, and stiff. Doesn't want to move real good. Uh, carry buried the rubber gasket's got a little bit of a age wear on one side where the rubber's starting to separate. Uh, and the uh, universal joints on there are very easily manipulated, so not much of an issue at that point. And then, of course, we have the uh, junction here that goes to the motor and uh, that is uh, moving pretty decent too so uh, besides that we just got a lot of heavy rust on it so we're going to decide replace it or recondition it but in this case we cannot paint it all we can do is uh, descale it and then uh, take it and uh, fluid film cover it so that we don't uh, you know we don't ruin the the weighting of it because it is weighted for balancing. As you can see, they have multiple weights on it in different locations. So, that's where we're at on this. Now I just paint that. Now we'll just have you start on this side and start crawling underneath there and painting air, the entire surface underneath Herbie. 
You want to crawl under there and look with me? And I can point it out to you? Yeah. Okay. Here's the easy, easy part, Mercedes. See, see all that rust right there? Lay down on your back. Get down and dirty with Herbie. Now you see all that rust? You see the black? When you put the Cora Seal on the rust, it turns black. So you need to paint everything under here. See all this stuff? All this metal? You gotta paint everything. So I would go under and start in the middle and work your way all the way up to the front. Avoid the wires. Don't, don't paint the wires. Avoid them then. Yeah, don't get it in the connectors or anything. Oh, that's going to be tricky. Well, don't paint around the connectors. I'll do that later. Okay, so paint around them? Yeah, but don't get any on the connectors. But I want you to paint the entire underside all the way up to the gas tank here. Okay? So crawl under the middle and keep yourself so that your arms are reaching forward of you so you're not painting directly over your face. Because it will turn your face black. Okay, so reach what? Right to the middle of there. See where that bracket is right there? Mm -hmm. That's the middle. Paint everything this way, coming this way. But start in the middle over there. Okay? And then just start slowly painting it. And you got the light here. We'll put the tarp underneath there further. And we'll get your brush, but don't make the brush real wet. But once you're done painting it, you'll start seeing all the rust turning black. So once it turns black, then you know we're done. We gotta try to get like we gotta try to get two coats on there. You can do it okay? like, like this first. Okay. Uh, so you don't Laying on your back with your arms reaching like this will keep it out of your face. All good? Yeah. Give me a dollar for washing your windshield. I don't got a dollar, but would you like this milk? It's very delicious. That that's not milk, you liar. <laughs> Get down there and rust proof your car. It's creamy. <laughs> All right, Mercedes is working hard. Trying not to paint herself with Cora Seal and her mother is helping her. So it's a family event to uh, preserve uh, old Herbie here and uh, keep him from rusting. How long are you gonna keep Herbie from rusting, Mercedes? However long. However long? <laughs> you gonna wash Herbie to keep him cleaner so he don't rust? Yeah. Okay. Who's gonna pay for the car washes? Dad. <laughs> All right, folks. We got the RDU and the seal, and we got the seal kit. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, install a seal on the RDU and uh, show you how easy it is. This is a 62 millimeter seal and uh, by all rights they said that's what we needed so we're gonna go ahead and install it and uh, if it ain't the right size it won't fit right? Correct. So yeah that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and install this. And we're gonna get the right size for the kit to make sure we cover it and we don't damage anything. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, whale on it. That's what we got to do, right? Just whale on it? Um, carefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't move too much. Yeah, that's going to be pretty solid. Just got a little lube on it. Want a fluid film it? See, it's got a real little uh, rubber seal. Want to fluid film it a little bit? I don't know. Oil or... A little fluid film on it wouldn't hurt it. I wouldn't. Let me grab the fluid film. It's somewhere here, right? I don't have to take, take much. Just a little bit. Oh, that's good. A little fluid film never hurt anything. At least I don't think it does. There we go. Now we do we use a BFH or just a regular hammer? 
That's got a regular hammer. Guess what? It's not a 62. Mm -mm. Too big. Need the 58, son. I'll be darned. Well, it's not a 62. It is a 58. All right, folks, uh, for this 2011, it is a 58 millimeter. We just me measured it up with a caliper. We should have done that before, and uh, it is a 58. So we cannot install the seals. But anyway, random things. So let's go back to see what the girls are doing because the guys apparently don't know what they're doing. All righty. You girls are doing a fantastic job. Look at this. Just put the arm down. Just use one. I mean, there's nothing saying you have to keep working and working and working. You can get up, stretch your arms, take a 15 minute break. So. I, I want to get it. I want to get, get the done. job done and perfect, so I'm not stopping. Isn't it amazing how it's turning everything black? Yeah, yeah. Like that's adding. like magic stuff, isn't it? Uh -huh. yep. Ruth, in this corner on the other side of that bracket is a whole bunch of rust. I just tried to paint it. Okay, but yep, you got to do all the way up forward in the metal up there towards the gas tanks. Okay, just don't so smoke. Try. Just don't smoke under here while you're doing that because that's a gas tank right there. This one? The no. This one? Mercedes hand is almost on it. This one? See the plastic thing that's hanging low? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that down there, that's the gas tank. Mm -hmm. Just don't smoke your cigars while you're under here, okay? Good thing I don't smoke. Yeah, me too. Well, what about your cigars that you smoke on Saturday nights while you're drinking beer and whiskey? I don't no, drink beer whiskey. I drink Water. Water, and wear a monocle with a mustache. You should know this by now. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I must not have been paying attention. I'm no, a bad you don't. dad. <laughs> thing you know, you'll be saying I'm drinking like sparkling water. I'm not that kind of person. Jeez. Oh, okay. It's like you don't know me. I was there when you were born. I know you. <laughs> anyway, you girls are doing a fantastic uh, job. Check this out. Turning black. Milka. How is the car detailing profession coming along? Sponge. Sponge? You're wiping it down and then what? Do you dry it? I dry it with this. And you're changing the water often? Yep. And did you do the roof? Yep. How did you get your short Tyrannosaurus Rex arms over there to get that cleaned up? Ladder. How'd you get, it, get the roof done? Did you use a ladder? Yep. Did you reach really far? So is there going to be a big dirty stripe right down the center of the roof? Nope. Nope, you got it all? Yep. All right, keep up the good work. Herbie just needed a sponge bath because all the dust. And we got Mercedes wow, this is a painting it. And then we got Ruth under here. She's trying to get rid of the rust too. Look at that. Look at that woman work. She doesn't want to... Oh, Herbie to rust either. Getting that rust taken care of. But we got, they're telling me two coats under here. I don't know, we're missing a few places. But overall, pretty well covered. Cannot argue. As you can see, yep. We got a few places we avoided because of the electrical connections, but we'll get those taken care of with touch-ups. But Mercedes is getting there. She's starting to get everything. Got a little bit up front here to do yet. Okay. And then by the gas tank, we got a few spots here that need to be touched up. But overall, I think we're getting there. Alrighty, folks. Got mom up there, she just can't stand to see any rust on Herbie, so she's sorta of touching up all along the rails. But overall, folks, we have done all the rust prevention we're gonna do for old Herbie. And uh, we wish Herbie good luck on this uh, future rust detail, but this is That's where we're at. This is what we're doing. And uh, 
we're done. We are now in the phase of putting Herbie back together. So, folks, this is the apex of the mountain. And we are going to start putting Herbie together. After this dries, of course. But one thing we are going to do is, if you can see that fuel filler tube there, we're going to go ahead and replace the filler tube. So there will be a brand new one. It won't be all covered in all this goop. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put a new one in because we have that. And then uh, once we get that done, frame's going in and uh, RDU, everything's getting put back together for the rear suspension once we get the parts in. Well folks, this is it. We have got the uh, sway bar painted. We've got the bumper painted and the rear subframe is painted. This here bumper this week is going in to get a little bit of a touch up repaint and get a few marks fixed because uh, it does have a few issues. But other than that, it is in great shape and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this done. But that's where we're at right now. Okay, we have two troublemakers right here. One's trying to figure out how to fix something. The other one's watching the other one how to fix something. <laughs> Supervisors. And then we got Mercy Girl who just got done rust preventing the back of Herbie. How does it feel to be done doing the rust prevention on Herbie, Mercedes? Satisfying. Satisfying? Mm -hmm. Nothing better than satisfying yourself with some good hard work on Herbie, huh? Especially when it all turns black. Yeah, that tells you all the rust is taken care of, doesn't it? Yep. Good visual. But anyway, how's it feel to know that everything that going forward from today is to put Herbie back together? Yes. Yes? And when you race Antonio Brown, no, are you going to whip his butt and ask him to check your taillights for you? Yeah. <laughs> well, we went and started checking this... Uh, drive shaft and when I go down I find a flat spot right about the center and then it goes back down again so there's a needle bearing that is right there that is not working it's gone so yeah it's a good call to uh, replace this unit Ruth what do you think about Herbie's uh, chances of lasting a longer time now Getting that rust taken care of? Yeah. All right. I have my hope right here. All right. Getting We're getting there. A little bit of hope. Mercedes, wow. you're in Herbie. You're all the power Herbie needs. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Hello. Go. Hey, Antonio, I'm going to smoke you with Herbie when I learn how to drive. Hey, folks. Yes, Project Herbie and, the, of course, the family was here. Uh, this video was, as you saw, a lot of random stuff because uh, we were just really here just to do some of the rust, and then we checked the drive shaft, and then we tried to do the RDU, and we found out we got the wrong seals. So then we did more rust conversion on it, ordered some parts, it basically just had a good family time today, so that's really what it was all about. Getting the family here, getting involved in the project, and uh, having a great time. So I hope you enjoyed this really random Project Herbie video. And, uh, well, we got a few things to do, but I'm going to tell you one thing. We only have to take one part off of Herbie, and then we are starting reassembly. The filler tube is the only thing that we have to remove. And once we remove that, and then, then we're starting to install and rebuild Herbie. We're just waiting for a few parts. And once those parts get in, we're going crazy. We're rebuilding the rear end. And once that's done, then we move to the front end. And we start putting that engine, transmission, and power transfer unit together. And then getting ready to install it in Herbie. So we're getting there, folks. And it's going to go fast.
Anyway, it's Mac T and uh, Mac T Ford Edge. Remember, like, subscribe, join, all that good stuff as far as this YouTube channel. Give me some uh, good likes on here so uh, we can keep this project going and get the word out on how to restore your Ford Edge and then get your family involved into it too. Hi, Ruth. Anyway, uh, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. Band of One's got some great music to play, and Mercy Girl always has a couple of one-liners. Thank you for watching MacT's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.